What is up, you guys? It's your girl, Nicole Faye, and welcome back to another Juicy Fat video. As you guys can see by the title, today we are talking about how to be more feminine, okay? I feel like when people have these conversations, they put a little bit too much emphasis on how you look. And even though that is a huge part into being a little bit more feminine, that's not all of it, okay? So I wanna add a little bit more substance to the conversation about other things that I usually don't hear all the time when people talk about femininity that you should be doing or that I think that is feminine because I think feminine is also about not just how you look and dress and present yourself with poise but also how you think okay so before we even get into all of that all right we want to thank AG1 for sponsoring today's video all right you guys so I am a huge coffee drinker and I hate it <laughs> so I've been looking for a substitution to cut down on my caffeine so I like to drink AG1 I like to drink this drink in the morning before I start my day to give me the focus gut health and energy throughout the day without the caffeine crash and the running to the toilet feeling I get when I drink coffee. And we all can relate to that. <laughs> AG1 is a foundation nutrition that supports whole body's health. Because vitamins and minerals are hard for the body to process, AG1 makes it easy by carefully sourcing their ingredients so you can get the most out of the nutrition you consume, which is right up your girl's alley because I always forget to take my vitamins in the morning. This foundation nutrition also has a great taste and adding lemons just creates the perfect taste for me. I always feel great after drinking this and I love that I'm getting my daily vitamins. They also come in a travel size as well so you can have nutrition on the go so if you have been looking for a nutritional drink to cut down your caffeine craze go to drinkag1.com slash nicole fay to get a free one year supply of vitamin d3 plus k2 and five ag1 travel packs with your first purchase thanks to ag1 for sponsoring today's video that is my first like ad that i have done in like a long form video like did you guys like it <laughs> I feel official, okay? I am officially a YouTuber, okay? Even though I have had ads on my shorts before, but I've never had it on my long form, I just feel cool. So I hope you guys liked that sponsorship and thank you for watching. So let's get into tip number one on how to be more feminine. Feniman? What the? Feniman. I had too much to drink last night, I'm glitching. Okay, so tip number one on how to be more feminine is being strategic about things that you do. When you typically think about being feminine, you think about somebody that has it all together, right? Even though no one has it all together, okay? We're all out here lost, confused, and f but anyway, when you think about a person that you can think of in your head that has it all together, it just seems like they have life figured out. They're very strategic, right? And I think the whole like concept of just like being more feminine and just like femininity is gives the idea that you want to look more put together. So I feel like people who are a little bit more put together are very strategic people. And if you don't know what strategic means, definition, go look it up. Cause I don't either. I can only use it in examples, but I think what strategic means is like basically not being all over the place. Like if you have a plan, make sure you execute it and have a plan to execute it instead of just being indecisive and don't know what the fuck you want to do okay have a plan that is something i'm definitely trying to incorporate into my life as i'm trying to be a little bit more feminine about the way i think about things it's definitely being more strategic behind my goals and the plans and how to execute things so that is such a great quality to have if you want to be a little bit more feminine it shows intelligence and it shows that you have it all together and you're just not like all over the place okay like i said we're all confused we don't know what the fuck we're doing what are we here for what, what are we doing here god but please don't take me home right now. I, let me figure it out. Anyway, we don't know what we're doing here, you know? So having a goal behind and executing and having a strategy behind what you're doing is a great way to be more feminine. Tip number two on how to be more feminine is being more seductive. Now, hold on. I know what you're thinking. Do I need to be more sexual? No, okay? There's a way to be seductive and not be sexual. There's nothing wrong with being sexual if you do want to be seductive. But what I mean, being seductive, I feel like it's more of a mindset thing than it is sexual because it's kind of like mind control, okay? So what seductive really means is just being just like this enticing, eye-catching, magnet type of person that usually people give you this kind of compliment if you are a very seductive person like people will be like wow you're just like really sexy or you're really seductive being seductive really has a lot to do with facial expressions body language being a good listener being very attentive giving good eye contact is very seductive i mean see look yeah you felt that you felt it <laughs> 
I turned you on, I know. It's that easy, okay? And when it comes to seduction, it kind of goes two ways. It's either you have it or you don't. And if you are one of those people that have it, you get told all the time that you are kind of a very seductive person or you are a very good listener and stuff like that. But if you don't, if you want to work on it being a little bit more seductive, I would say work on being a good listener. Always have an eye contact with somebody. Always smiling. I think being very witty and funny is also another thing you can do if you want to be a little bit more seductive. Those are the characteristics I can think of right now that comes off the top of my head because when I put this tip into this video, when I was like thinking about how to explain this, I was like, how the f do I describe how to be seductive? You know? But I feel like all the characteristics I just named of like being a good listener, having good eye contact, body language, facial expressions, always smiling, being very funny, witty, can make a joke, are good characteristics that really does help being more seductive without it being sexual. So definitely implicate that into more of your personality and how you think if you want to be just a little bit more feminine. Tip number three on how to be more feminine is a tip that I still struggle with to this day, okay? That I'm still trying to master this tip, okay? And the tip is not oversharing. Oh my gosh. If you are watching this video or you're a kind of person that does not overshare, I, I am, am jealous, jealous of you, of you. okay? Especially when I've been drinking, the whole world knows my business, okay? Like, oh my gosh, and I hate that. I think women that don't overshare are so feminine, okay? Like, oh my gosh, you guys are just the top notch because it's just so easy just to ramble at the mouth and then you have anxiety the next day because you like, why did I sit there and just tell that girl I just met five minutes ago my whole life story? Like what? I think that is one characteristic that you need to work on. Girl, if you want to be more feminine and you're watching this video, stop. Stop it right now. Okay, because that's not feminine, okay? The oversharing, absolutely not, okay? There's nothing wrong with relating to somebody else's story or somebody else's life by giving them an example of, oh, I've been through the same thing, just relating to somebody else's story. But get good at learning when to stop it, and that's enough. I think that is a big thing in being feminine, not letting everyone know your next move, what's going on with your life, or things that you have done in your past. The more people don't know, the more people don't have on you, okay? And that is such a feminine thing. Like, I never hear people talk about that when they talk about femininity, like, or just characteristics on how to be more feminine. Stop over fucking sharing, okay? Like I said, I am still trying to get this down packed still to this day, and I'm working on it, okay? How am I doing on a scale of one to 10? A five. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. We got some progress to go, but it's okay. But yes, if you want to be more feminine, I would think a characteristic or a way that you need to think is stop oversharing. Everybody doesn't need to know your business or your next move, okay? Keep it to yourself. Tip number four is how you look. Now, when I was writing out my tips, I could not leave this out of my tips because like I said earlier, even though I hear a lot of people emphasizing on how you look and I feel like it has a lot more to do with how you think and carry yourself, looks are important, okay? But because everybody's style is so different and they're there is not one size fit all when it comes to how you should look to be more feminine. It's very hard to f narrow down, okay? Because like I said, everybody has different style. So I just think whatever you look or feel good in and that makes you feel beautiful and that makes you feel confident, that's it. You don't have to always wear dresses or cover up or this, that, and the third. Whatever makes you feel comfortable, whether you want to cover up or show your ass cheeks. If that makes you feel comfortable, then that's your own feminine power. And that's why I was saying in the intro earlier that I don't believe femininity or being more feminine has so much to do on looks because like I said, everybody's look is different. Difference. Whatever style that you already have or you already like to wear, I can just say just some minor, you know, things that you could update, like make sure whatever shirt you have on, it's iron, it's fitted, you know, things of that nature. But if you're a type of person that likes to wear baggy clothes and that makes you feel confident and feminine, well, who am I? to tell you not to do that, all right? Whatever makes you feel comfortable and whatever makes you feel pretty is your way of you being feminine. So that's the only way I can just narrow it down and describe it. So my fifth tip is having some type of routine, whether that's a beauty routine, morning routine, night routine, skincare routine, workout routine, you know, routine, 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 okay? I think uh, having a routine kind of goes back and piggybacks to my first tip, which is being a little bit more intentional and strategic about your day. But having a routine builds so much structure and I just feel like a feminine woman or if you want to be a little bit more feminine, it's all about being very centered and, and really into, you know, creating healthy habits for your mental health and having a routine is the best way to really cut out all the fluff and being indecisive. I am very 
serious about my beauty routines and those are things, my beauty routines like my skincare, my makeup, my, you know, nails and toes. Those routines are very important to me because they really make me feel feminine. It doesn't have to be a beauty routine. Like any type of routine you can think of, even if you have a really strict workout routine, that makes you feel good, right? Because you go work out every day and you're taking care of your body. That's a very healthy thing to do to keep you really centered and grounded with yourself. So I just think having a routine is a really another good way that I don't hear people talk about and how to be feminine. It has really nothing to do with looks. It has really a lot to do with just having a more structured life and having better mental health. So yeah. And for my last and final tip, this tip I'm gonna be really strict about because this tip is so, so, so crucial into being a little bit more feminine. It can also be another characteristic for being seductive, which is always smelling good, okay? Look, if you are an advocate watcher of this channel, I always talk about not running out the house and not having on any type of perfume or body spray. What are you doing, okay? When you get out the shower, stop getting out the shower just smelling like soap. Put some body mist or some type of perfume on you before you leave out, okay? Like I said, that is another huge characteristic in being seductive. Like if you're struggling on how to be a little bit more seductive, girl, smell like something, okay? I don't even know why I didn't say that in that tip, okay? Because that is serious. But yes, always smell like the something is so feminine, okay? Now, I cannot tell you what to smell like, but if you wanna smell like the shit, not literal shit, you wanna smell good, not like shit. You know what I mean? Anyway, if you wanna smell like you the shit, put some floral perfume on. <laughs> leave that woody mush shit alone, okay? Anyway, yes, uh, always smell like something. Like, please always smell like something that, like, that is a big, big part in being feminine to me. I think being feminine is such a multifaceted concept that can mean so many different things. So I really tried with my tips to think outside the box and to give more tips that I really don't hear people say. And I try not to be so strict. I try not to make this video and my tips be like, if you don't wear a dress, you don't wear your hair down, if you don't wear makeup, if you don't paint your nails and toes, you're not feminine. Because that doesn't mean that, okay? Everybody is different. Everybody has different styles and communication skills. Like being more feminine can mean so many different things. It's just not one thing that just means you're feminine. It could be multiple of things. So. I try my best to be, like I said, very open with my tips and think of things that I have not heard people say and that I am still working on to this day that makes me feel feminine. So definitely let me know in the comments, you guys, if you guys agree with my tips and if you guys have any other tips and tricks on how to be a little bit more feminine or any other tips that you haven't heard that you think is feminine. I love you guys so much. Thank you guys for watching the video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys next week. I love you guys. Bye.